Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to explain and demonstrate how to define RAML library and how to use RAML library inside API specification. Library is a one of fragment type in which we can define multiple types. For example, we can define traits, we can define data types, we can define combination of traits and data types. We can publish this library to the exchange and then we can import this library in API specification project and then we can use the types defined inside library inside API specification. Now I will demonstrate how to create library in design center and how to use library in API specification. I will log on to the AnyPoint platform. I will go to the design center. I will click on order API specification. This is the order API specification that I defined previously. Here I'm using threads and types. I'm referencing these threads and types from the fragments. So let me show you those fragments. So I'm using client ID required thread fragment and our data type fragment. This is a definition. This is a thread definition. Here I'm defining client ID and client secret headers. And here I'm defining all our data type. Right now these both the types are defined in a separate fragment. And then I imported these fragment in this project and I'm referencing those fragments in order API specification. And then I'm using square thread and order type inside these methods. If you want to know more about how to create API definition and how to create fragment and how to create thread, you can watch my other videos. I will provide the link in the description. Now, instead of uh, creating two different fragment, I will create a library fragment and I will define both these types, thread and type in a single library. And then I will import that library here in order API specification project. And then I will use that library inside the API specification definition. Now I will create a library fragment. So in another Chrome tab, I will go to design center. Click on design center. I will click create new, new fragment. I will give the name order library and I will select the fragment type library. Click create fragment. Here I will give some library usage description. This library defines threads, threads and data types for order API. Now I will define client ID required thread. I will copy the definition from another tab. I will copy these headers and description. I will properly indent it. Now I will define our data type. Order type I will copy the definition from another tab
I will copy the properties. I will indent properly. So we have defined client ID required thread and our type in pad single library. Now I will publish this library. So I will click publish button, publish to exchange. I will give a set version to 1.0.0. I will click publish to exchange. Order library has been published to the exchange successfully. Now I will click exchange. So this is the order library that we published. Here we can see the type definition. Now we will go to assets list. We can see that order library is here. So we can search this order library. Now I will use this order library in order API specification. So I will go back to design center. I will include exchange dependency. I will click on exchange dependency. Click plus sign. Select the organization. And check the order library. Click add dependency. Order library dependency has been added to this project. Click show in file. So we got the order library inside this project. This is the definition we just defined. Now we'll use this order library in order.raml. So I will remove this threads and type definition and I will use the library. So uses, I will give the library name order order lib. Now I will give the reference path exchange module. order library slash 1.0.0 slash order library dot ramal. Now I will use the threads and data type from order library. So I will copy this order lib and I will go to the all the methods and I will change the list of the thread order lib dot client id required. That's the name of the thread we are using from order lib. I will copy this and I will use in all the methods. Similarly, I will use order lib dot order type in all method. So here type I will say order lib dot order type and I will use this everywhere where we are using order type. So now order type we are using from order lib. So we are using order library instead of uh, two separate fragments. We can even delete these fragments. So we'll go to the exchange dependency and we can delete these fragments. We can delete order type fragment, remove, and we can delete client ID required thread fragment, remove. Now, so now we only have order library fragment. And this is the definition. And we are referencing that library here and then we are using this order lib in all the methods for thread and for data type. Now we can test it. Let's go to documentation, click post method, click try it. We got the client ID and client secret header and we got the sample payload. Click send. We got the result order created that means about this type definition and the trade is working
and there is no problem in the method. Let's test one more. Go back to documentation. Click slash ID. Click put. Click try it. ID we can give 100. We got the header client ID and client secret. And we have a sample. We can send the sample payload. Click send. We got 200 status code. We got the response order updated. So this put method is also working because using order type from library and the thread from library as well. So our library is working fine. In this video, I showed you how to create library, how to add different types in library, and we added the client ID required trade and we added a order data type in the library and then we published the library and then we use the library to define the API specification. This is all in this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the like sign and subscribe the channel. Thank you very much.